Oh, what's up, everybody? You know, people have called me the most elusive black jaguar in NFL history. Touchdown, Jacksonville! So I figured I should observe one in its natural habitat. That's why you see me out here in the Amazon rainforest looking for the most elusive black jaguar. Speaking of the Jaguars, I was a little bummed they didn't win this past week against the San Diego Chargers. They continue to put up points, though. And Blake Bortles, he threw for 300 yards and two touchdowns again. No disrespect, but this wasn't one of them. Yes, it looks like a touchdown, but Blake, you didn't just cross the line of scrimmage. You flew by it. And I would say, I hope you learned your lesson, but you did it again later in the game. I think there's something about this third and six that really confuses this guy. You got to know where you are on the field at all times. I sure as hell know where the hell I am right now in this jungle. It's like every living thing out here is trying to kill me. This is ridiculous. How about that game from Monday night? It turned out to be a lot more exciting than I anticipated. And sure, I've never heard a lot of these players who were scoring touchdowns. I mean, Javorius Allen? Is that a player or a deadly Amazonian insect? Javaris Allenus, a rare breed of running back that burrows deep on a depth chart and only appears when a team's roster is fully depleted. How about Allen, Mike? He's been impressive. Hmm. The more you know. But no disrespect, it's as if this game was a competition to see who could lose it at the end. First Matt Schaub throws what could have been a game-losing interception with less than a minute left, but then the Browns went ahead and did the most Browns thing ever. And it's blocked. And it's picked up by Will Hill. Will Hill runs down the sideline. Hill's going to get a block. Will Hill is going to win the game on a blocked field goal. Unbelievable. Man, that was a brutal loss. Maybe even more brutal than the Patriots losing an OT to the Brocking Broncos. Yes, I said it. Brocking Broncos. But no disrespect, Patriots fans. You guys are acting like sore losers. You've had it way too good for way too long. I mean, you think you're the only team who has bad calls going against them or, or injuries? Be grateful for what you have. I mean, look at this Browns fan. I hate the Browns. I hate the Browns so much. And finally, our most disrespectful play of the weekend. A play so vicious, all you can do is watch in horror. And again, Ivory sidestepping, stays on his feet. Ivory breaks another tackle. Chris Ivory, what a run. Touchdown, Jets. Talk about putting the team on your back. Ivory made, let me count, one, two, three, four, Five dolphins look sillier than I do in this hat? Nah, just kidding. I look great in this hat. That was good, but this is actually the most disrespectful thing I saw this weekend. Bill, from a personal standpoint, just given how much Rob has given you over the years, what do you feel when you saw him that? Well, what do you think? No disrespect, Bill, but you're absolutely terrifying. That's all for this week's show. A big shout out to YouTube user Syrian Dwyer, who shows some love in the comments section. That's an excellent use of everything I've been teaching. But no disrespect, I'm an excellent cook. You should try my cup of noodle soup. To the rest of you commenters, step your game up. You might get a shout out on next week's show, man. This, this, black people, we don't belong to each other. It's ridiculous. I, I don't know what I'll think. Well, what do you think? <laughs>